Hello and welcome back to Rome Total War Skippy Eye Campaign doing the No Post Marion Unit Recruitment Challenge. In our last episode we fought against Macedonia, took a couple of territories over here and we are currently besieging Corinth. In today's episode we're going to continue our war in the east and try to move out to Asia and beat the Brutii before they can take more territories over here. But before we do that, there's something I want to do over here in Carolus. So if I look at the population, we're at 1878. If I disband this army over here, we can now get the governor's villa. Our people are unhappy, so we're going to go ahead and recruit a peasant. But we're at 65%. They might riot, but we'll get that peasant, and I'm sure they won't riot next turn. So that'll be fine. I also want to make sure I don't forget about the Western campaign. So I'm going to go ahead and recruit some soldiers over here. I think I'm going to get some Hostadis. I'm going to send the uh, fleet that I trained up in Sicily out to help out east. Let's get them on the move. And over here in Serta, I'm going to destroy this uh, temple. Yeah, they're trying to Saturn. I'm going to send Gaius from Thessalonica to take on these rebels. Attack. Attack. They should be pretty easy. Just uh, some skirmishers and a peasant. We got quite the hills over here. So I'm going to go ahead and get marching up. Let's send our cavalry over here to the left flank. Double time. Let's get our guys up the hill. We can. Now I, I'm gonna I managed to get my guys up here. Now I'm gonna let them rest. Let's get my cavalry up a little bit higher. Okay, we're rested. I'm gonna move my archers up over here. As well as my infantry. Alright, let's have my archers start firing. But kind of don't want to waste them on peasants. Let's see if I can hit their militia cab. Let's move forward a little bit. They're now firing at their militia cab. I think they're sending their peltist up against us. We've got rebels that are trying to flank us. Let's go ahead and take this group out on the left. Let's go move our cavalry out. Uh, let's back them up. All right, we got them. The enemy general is Only got a few missiles Fear left. Let's we'll uh, hit these uh, peltists. All right, let's get our infantry to start marching up. Cavalry, let's hit them in the flanks. All right, here they come. Let's get our cavalry moving. All right, let's get. Let's finish them off. All right, not a bad victory. We killed 826. We had three losses, but that was to friendly fire. Let's get these guys back into Thessalonica. And I think I'm going to end my turn. So I don't know where this uh, Dacian army went on the bridge. I'm going to have my spy look for them. I don't see them anywhere. I don't think that's them. Um, let's take a look. Moving. They might be hiding in the woods. Huh. Service. Let's take a look. Maybe they crossed the bridge and went into our territory. Moving. Moving. So I don't know where the Dacian army has gone, but I'm just going to send this army to sit on the bridge for now. In case they decide to move out against me. I don't know where they went, but... Let's get our reinforcements up here as well. So it looks like my move in Careless turned out pretty well. So we're back to 120% public order. 
our population's back to about where it was. What's nice is I don't have to be at 2,000 because I've already started the governor's villa, so I can actually be below that. Looks like Spain is thinking about attacking. They really didn't bring much. They don't have much on this ship over here either. Let me uh, sail out and see if they have any other fleets around here. There's no one in their fleet. Yeah, it looks like they just brought one infantry unit or one unit to attack me. I don't know what it is. Let's go ahead and get this army over here on the march. Have Queso join him. And we'll m march on Numidia down here and then march up here. Numidia's also got this army over here, but they don't look too impressive. I think uh, we can train up a few troops and uh, take them on without sending back our Palma force. Looks like the Brudii are moving on Halicarnassus. They somehow got another large army over here. Um, and they're probably going to take Halicarnassus. I need to get moving out here in the, my eastern campaign. So I don't want to attack Corinth because they have too many troops. At least right, not right now. Let's see if I can draw them out. I'm going to take three of my Hastati and march them out. And we'll see if we can, if that's tempting enough for them to attack me. In the meantime, I'm going to move this army out and attack this guy over here. Alright, they've got two generals, three light lancers, and some skirmishers, a couple hoplites. Let's go ahead and fight. Alright, let's get this battle started. I don't know. Looks like they're just forming up. I don't think they're charging me just now. Uh, but I think I need to adjust my formation a little bit. I've got tons of cavalry. I'm not used to having so much cavalry. I want to go up the hill over here and um, get the height advantage. Alright, looks like we're finally in missile range. We've managed to even out the, the height advantage that they had. Uh, looks like they just backed out of missile range. I'm going to move my archers up a little bit. They should be pretty close to being in range. See if I move one group of archers up, they might we might be able to draw them out and have them attack us. See if this is in range. Yep. We're we'll gonna start hitting their hoplites. Looks like they are sending their peltis up against us. Let's uh hit them with our equites. All right, fall back. Go, go, go. Oh, I don't know what happened over here. Ah, I didn't even notice they hit my right flank. So dumb. I'm sitting out there, ward up my war dogs after these peltis. Let's get these guys going. Nope, halt, halt. What do we got over here? Let's go. War dogs, no, go after the peltists. Let's let our cavalry take care of their cavalry. And same thing over here. Unfortunately, our war dogs went after their cavalry, which I didn't want them to. Let's get our handlers back. And get these guys back if you can. Let's get our infantry forward. And our Illyrians. Get our cavalry forward. Looks like some of their cavalry has rallied. Let's attack one of their generals with our archers if we can. Oh, 
Oh, we took care of those Lancers pretty quickly. Alright, let's go finish them off. I think uh, we can take them pretty easily. Oh, they might be retreating. We might be able to catch them, though, with our light cav. Go. Let's try to kill their generals. Pursue them and drive them from the battlefield. We got one of them. There's the other one running from our cavalry. Got him. All right, not a bad victory. We only lost 20 guys. We took over 1,200. All right, let's keep on marching out to their next city. Take them a couple of turns to get there. I'm going to lift my blockade and get my fleet to join this other fleet over here. And we'll prepare to try to slow down the broody eye if we can. Alright, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. So it looks like my spy completely failed me. This army was able to sneak by me and uh, they must have been hiding in the woods here right by my spy. And they managed to uh, besiege this city. Waiting. On my way. But we should be able to lift the siege. I think we have a big enough army for this. Yeah, it's a pretty tough army. They've got a lot of Falksmen who uh, have a massive 14 attack. They've got their onagers, chosen swordsmen with their 15 attack and 17 defense. They've got bowmen and uh, just one unit of cavalry though. So we'll have that. We'll have the cavalry advantage on them. Let's go ahead and fight this. I'm gonna see if I can get my. We have quite a hill advantage over here. I'm gonna see if I can get my um, cavalry to move around them and uh, hit their onagers. Actually, let's keep another cavalry over here. Let's just get two. If they attack me with their barbarian cavalry, we'll, we should be able to handle them. But our mission is to get their onagers. Okay, it looks like they do have their cavalry and they're coming up against us with their cav. So we'll have to, we might have to take them out first. But that'll be an advantage for us because it's their general and we should be able to get him to rout. Let's go, Equites. Get him. He's wavering. We're steady. Okay, we got him. And now let's get their onagers. It is time to press the attack. All right, mission successful. Let's get out of here. They just have one guy left. I don't think he's enough to operate the onagers. Let's get our cavalry out of here. We did take uh, almost 50% casualties in this mission. But who knows how many casualties those onagers could have done to us had they been set up, right? So I think it might have been worth it I don't know I what what well yeah considering I took out their general and their onagers right so let's get this uh, town watch behind I want them to route 
Don't know what these uh, warband are doing. Let's just get away from them. But at the very least, they're getting tired. I mean, we're tired, but we're on horseback, so we should be able to outrun them easily. Oh, uh, are they running away? No, they're not. All right, let's get our infantry marching forward. Let's have these guys halt. Well, let's just have them go there and halt. Get our infantry to march forward a little bit. I'm gonna send my Illyrians to go after these guys, as well as these two Hastatis. Wow, well, how did these guys get up here? I don't know. Uh, let me have my archers not fire at these guys. All right, those warbands are routed. Let's get these guys back in formation. There's their chosen swordsmen. We're hitting them in the back, which is great. Okay, we wiped out those warband. Let's have our archers focus on their chosen swordsmen. Get our Illyrians moving up as well. I want to hit these guys for sure. All right, we're hitting them with our Pila. I think they are retreating. So let's go ahead and cut them off. They're exhausted. So our infantry should be able to catch them. about these Falksmen over here. Oh, these are Warband. Okay, they're routed. These other guys should route when we hit them too. There we go. There we go. They're all routed. Just wipe them out now. Took a few casualties, but I think it's going to be a pretty good victory. All right, not a bad victory. We killed 1,400 and only lost 100. Victory! No man of the hour, though, unfortunately. All right, let's get Gaius Victor on the march. So we still got this uh, army in Spain. Uh, they haven't attacked yet. I'm going to check out their fleets, see if they have any more. Guys, they're planning on sending it up against us. Ready to sail. I do want to go and attack right, them in a few turns. Okay, there's another army. I wonder if they're going to reinforce that. Yeah, they probably are. Well, I'm training up troops here in Palma. Um, we have also got this army here in Numidia that's uh, marching up north against us here. So I don't think I can get reinforcements too soon but I think we have enough to defeat this and this whatever it is I don't know what it is but I'll continue to recruit as well it's like we have some pirates over here so I may need to get my fleet back because I gotta continue to recruit soldiers I am getting some reserves from Carthage moving out let's get this uh, Army of Quesos on the march. And we'll just hit this rebel. Get him to back off. Let's go ahead and fight him. Well, I lost 19 guys. Most of those were archers because I sent my archers up and they were on a hill and they were able to get within range of my. with their javelins and uh, they took out 19. So I'm going to get my fleet around uh, Greece over here and prepare for my invasion looks like uh, the Pontic army is uh, 
threatening the broody eye hopefully they'll attack broody eye before they can take the city that would be really nice i don't know what to do with corinth i'm i definitely don't want to do this siege so we're just gonna hold out maybe the whole five turns so i'm just gonna go ahead and have these guys go back in and join him then and once this army moves around maybe i will split off some of the troops and uh send him with my fleet well i think with that i'm gonna go ahead and end my turn so i think i'm gonna move my soldiers out against dacia I think it's about time. We'll just sit on the bridge for one more turn, get our reinforcements, and then march out. Because I think they're just going to send wave after wave. They're never going to make peace. Alright, well, it looks like Spain has finally moved their army out against us. Um, and they're going to try to take Palma. But uh, fortunately for me, I have a navy. And they're only sending out one ship after me. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this navy. Attack. Right now. Get and prevent them from getting to me. Unfortunately, I can't reach them. I don't know if they'll be able to land their troops next turn. I'm going to go ahead and get another Equites here. All right, let's get this queso on the march down here. Take battle. the battle to Numidia. They don't have too much. And Gaius Victor is going to go over here and besiege Byzantium. And let's go ahead and fight this army right now. It's just one Iberian infantry. Orders, zero. Attack. All right, let's get my missiles forward, as well as my infantry, just in case they charge us. It's like our slingers are in range, but our archers are not. Alright, they're coming after us. No, nope, they're not changing their mind. We should be able to take them out completely with our missiles. And our archers just have terrible range. Well, I took out 161. I didn't lose it. Well, they didn't kill any, but I lost a f quite a few guys to friendly fire, unfortunately. My Velites just got ate up by my, I think, the Slingers. Yeah, that's unfortunate. All right, with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Well, I failed my mission to blockade Pergamum, unfortunately. Let's check out my standing with the Senate. I'm still doing pretty good, but it might drop. And looks like uh, the Broody Eye did manage to take Halicarnassus. And uh, their capital is up to 18,876. Broody Eye are now the strongest faction, but we happen to have five or four office Senate offices. That's really great. We are uh, running out of money. We only had a profit of seventeen. I don't. We weren't able to build everywhere last term because we, we ran out of money. But I'm gonna go ahead and try to take out this uh, Spanish navy. Let's go ahead. I'm just going to take two ships again and hit them. 
And didn't sink him, but maybe I can sink him next time. Victory! Let's get him with these guys. He's down to nine people on their ships. So we should definitely sink him this time. Yep, we got him. Gotta worry about these pirates over here. Uh, I don't know if that's enough. I'll get this guy next to him. Looks like Numidia is content to just sit their army right on the border here. They haven't crossed for several turns. It's not the greatest army. I could probably go ahead and take it. And I will. I was just waiting for waiting to build up a little bit more but I'm running out of money so I can't really build up much more I definitely need to continue to focus on economic buildings which I've been doing let's get a forum yeah I think this army is uh, decent enough to send them out I think I am gonna go ahead and hire some Balearic slingers even though I'm so low on money but I think uh, having another ranged unit would be really helpful all right, nice. We got the, uh, I think that's the mercenary captain. That's always good. All right, let's get this guy marching down. And since I'm here, build a watchtower. Yeah, I should be able to take that army. They're just skirmishers and uh, a couple of infantry. Let's get my reinforcements moving. All right, let's have Queso besiege this city. I don't think they have anything else either that can attack us right now so the Julia's capital has around 18,845 population so they're actually uh, right there up there with uh, Trenton which is surprising because I thought that because Greece has more population that they Trenton would be growing a little bit faster but no the uh, Julia are actually keeping up with them. Still quite a way for quite a ways away. We've got they've got to get to the twenty four thousand to upgrade the city. So uh, they're they're not quite there yet. So that gives us more time to recruit units before they um, trigger the Marian reforms. So we'll continue to do that. All right, I'm gonna get my spy over here to check out Dacia. Another army, just infantry, no cavalry. Yeah, we're, we definitely want to go ahead and march out. And uh, I don't have a general, but uh, maybe we can get a man of the hour. Because, uh, yeah, I don't see any stopping. Oh, they got another army over here. I've, I've tried multiple times to get a ceasefire, but they really aren't interested in it. So I'm going to have to take out these cities, which... It is a large town, so they'll have pretty good population. They only have a stockade, so uh, actually it might be worthwhile. And then this is their capital, so yeah, actually this is not a bad thing. Uh, they got another army coming down here towards Blizora. I have to watch out for them. And we're continuing to besiege Corinth. They haven't marched out yet. Got a fleet over here. I'd like to take Kydonia. Um, I saw Pontus had a fairly large army over here. I'm not interested in going to war with Pontus just yet. Even if uh, this is just a town, it's not a large town. And yeah, Halicarnassus is also just a town, so this doesn't I don't think it'll have a huge population. I don't know. This was a Seleucid uh, city, but it now belongs to Pontus. But I'm gonna go ahead and besiege Byzantium. Engage the enemy. Okay, they've got their faction leader here. Some really large uh, levy pikemen, but they're not the best. And some militia pikemen and some lancers. Not too hard, but of course it's a big city. Uh, well, they don't have the stone walls, so that's good. All right, I'm gonna send my archers forward. Take on these uh, hoplites that are in range. I don't know what they're doing over there. Just waving their uh, Pikes up and down. That's uh, pretty weird. Let's go ahead and send my uh, ram forward. All right, we are hitting him with arrows. They're still uh, wobbling their pikes. Our soldiers are 
the gates. Now they must batter our way through. All right, they're down to three guys. Two. One. They do have some lancers over here. Can fire our missiles at them. Great effect. The enemy gate is down. Our battering ram has done its work. All right, we got the gates open. Looks like they've got quite a few units over here. That's going to be tough to hit. Especially, I don't want. To charge head on into their pikes. So I'll have to try to lure them out. And they still got uh, Lancers over here. I'm going to send one group of archers forward to see if I can deal with them. Definitely need to save my arrows though. See if we can hit him from here. We should be pretty close. Yep, we got him. Nice. And they're backing off. All right, let's get our infantry in this in the town. Still got this one spearman just standing here. He's pretty brave. All his friends are dead. And he's just standing here. Run, run, oh, never mind. <laughs> he just retreated. Run, well, I guess he's not that brave. All right, here comes their cav. Let's charge. Should be able to handle with our Hastadis without taking too many losses. It's just light cavalry. Yeah, they've already broken and they decided to route right into us, which is the best. Instead of running away. I don't know what these guys are going to do. If they're going to try to come forward, I need to get my infantry over here, I think, so we can. So we can, if they try to attack me, we can. Uh, get to the other side of them. They got peasants coming forward. I think I want to get some cavalry in here too. And get this group over here. Yeah, here they come. Get some levy pikemen. Ah, my equites are just in a big blob formation. I'm not liking where my equites are right now. They're ruining this whole thing for me. Get out of here. Get out of here fast. Oh no, here they come. Okay, this whole group just charge. Okay, they're routed. Good. Oh. Let's hold our let's hold our fire. Okay, you guys halt. Um man, what a mess. What a mess. Get back in formation. Get back in formation, please. Equites, get over here. Before they come back. You guys are fine. Oh, here comes the peasants. Go, go, go. Why are you just walking? You're supposed to be running. And here they come. Nice. They're exhausted. I'm going to fire at will. Fire at will. Let's throw some Pila at them. I know they're just peasants. It's kind of a waste, but... Um, we'll just... Uh, the, we'll save the... We probably won't make good use of it, so... Yeah, go ahead and do it. Get these peasants to route. Nice. Let's 
get our archers? Wait, there's a tower right there, so I want to stay away from that tower. Yeah, I'd, be ra I'd rather be fighting them here than in the town square, because this way I can get them on all sides. So this kind of works out really well for us. Maybe I can get these guys to form up nicely, I hope. I wonder if they have a shot. Let's uh, go ahead and have them fire at will. No, let's cancel that. We've got a couple of them. Let's, uh, let's just wait a little bit. I want to have these guys back off, I think. Maybe send, set them on guard mode. Okay, you guys, get away. That guy just died because he was dumb. Get back in formation. Come on. Don't be dumb. Yeah, they're sending more guys after us. these guys fire at will. I'm going to throw the RP light at these guys. some Illyrians up here. They have these guys fire at will too. We managed to kill 48%. Okay, you guys fire at will also. Nope, you don't have a you don't have a shot. Let's have them back up a little bit. Maybe that will Help them arch those shots over. These guys are holding up pretty good. These guys are shaking. Okay, those guys have routed. And again, they're routing right into our guys so we can just kill them as they route. That's so nice. Alright, we're going to halt this group. Alright, that group's nearly eliminated. Wow, the Illyrians can throw their javelins over the building and hit these guys. Nice. It's raining javelins. We got more peasants. Okay, they broke instantly. Are those guys routed? Should I send my equites after them? Let's try it. This might be a big mistake though. They got their general's bodyguard right here. Hmm. Okay, let's halt. No, no. Bad idea. Get out of there. Bad idea. Want to get some equites over here and then we'll be able to hit their general's bodyguard from behind so I'm sending these guys in and they're sending more guys out their peasants are coming back I wonder if I could have well we'll wait till they route again and then maybe put some Illyrians over here Okay, they brought it again. Let's get the Illyrians lined up here so they can throw their javelins quicker. All right, looks like they are sending their pikemen out after my cavalry, which I sent on a flanking maneuver. 
but I have I should be able to surround them Some reason these guys are moving really slow. And what about over here? Okay, what do they got? They're sending Peltist out after me. All right, let's go. Let's go hit these guys. And let's get my infantry to move forward after their general's bodyguards as well as my militia uh, my Illyrians we should be able to take these peltis pretty easily and what do we got over here yeah these guys are moving slowly Equites. Let's see. They're wavering. Getting them. Let's see. What's going on over here? All right. Which way are they going to turn? They're turning this way. Let's charge them from the back. All right. Good. Got those guys to waver. Hitting their general. Let's get these guys. See if we can help out. That's going to be a tough battle with their general. Let's get one of these guys to help out with them, these peasants. We could take the square. We got the general surrounded, but he's still steady. Should be able to take these peasants and this one levy pikeman. Look at this general. He's just uh, holding his own. You know, he's completely surrounded. It's still even fight. God be praised. The enemy king now shows his true colors. All right, we've killed their general. The enemy king lies dead at your feet. Now is the time to strike hard at his grieving subjects. All right, that was a pretty good victory. We only lost 220 guys, and we killed 1209. Nice. That was really good. So, even though I really need the money, I think I am just going to enslave this, because I think in the long run, uh, enslaving it's going to disperse some of the population to all my other cities, which will help my uh, income in other cities. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we're going to go ahead and get the mines here. And that will help with income as well. Plus 200 per turn. Alright, and with that we were able to... Um, we were able to uh, destroy the uh, Macedonia as a faction. Which means Corinth over here is been emptied of the Macedonian units and replaced with these rebel units which aren't nearly as tough as that Macedonian army so I should be able to uh, uh, do this siege pretty easily we also have open gates so let's go ahead and fight so they got quite a bit of people up on the walls a lot of peltists uh, fortunately 
My Cretan archers are in range, and I don't think they're hitting us just yet. Uh, let's go ahead and send our Roman archers forward. Let's get them in loose formation. And they will probably take some damage from the towers. But that's okay. We can retrain Roman archers. We can't retrain Cretan archers. So I want to keep them out of range if I can. And I'm going to wait a little bit. Let's soften them up a bit before I send my Hestades forward. All right. My Roman archers are in range and they're not getting hit by the towers. So that's good. We should be able to take out most of their peltis with our archers. I don't know about these guys up here. I'm going to move these Cretan archers up just a hair and see if they can hit the guys. Yep, they can. So that's good. These guys are down to 50. And we still have this large group of Peltist over here. I wonder if they can hit these guys. All right, let's send our ladders forward. And yeah, I'm gonna have my Christian archers see if they can hit these guys. Yeah, they can, but they don't have much many arrows left. Can hit by the towers now. I'm gonna hold my fire. I think uh, I want to save my arrows. Christian archers are out of arrows. Man, we're getting hit hard by their walls. I think I might send my equites after their uh, peasants. Looks like their uh, cavalry over here is stuck. That's good. I hope they're stuck. All right, our equites have made it. We're fighting against peasants. They should waver pretty fast. We've got our Hastadis on the walls. Unfortunately, they're, we're having to fight them in two different directions. But we did, did manage to take out their peasants pretty quickly with our Equites. Let's get our Equites out now. We're getting hit by missiles. I'm not sure who's if it's the uh, Peltist or the towers that's hitting us. All right, we got Hastadis fighting these Peltists over here. They're shaken. Ours are steady. And over here, we've already routed this group. And we should take the walls, the, the gates pretty soon. All right, we got the walls. Now we got the gates. Press on and capture this place. Gateway, that's good. They're wavering. We're winning. Still eager, that's good. I'm gonna get these Velites to run over here and start capturing these wall, these towers over here. Fortunately, we have a pretty clear path to the uh, town center. But uh, quite a few troops left. We gotta take these guys. Alright, I'm gonna have these uh, Stadi take these towers over here. We'll have a. We'll hit them from two different directions. And I'm just gonna have these Hastadis go and take this tower. And I'm gonna have my Equites go ahead and hit these uh, Peltists these missile cav because they are throwing arrows at us of course we just wanna we're just gonna stand there with our backs turned to them oh what are they doing stop stop oh they're being crazy I think the best way to attack these guys is just to form up over them because this group is like split up. This is only a part, a part of their group. 
Yeah, I was about to send my equites on a suicide mission. That was uh, pretty ridiculous. Let's go ahead and take this uh, tower as well. All right, let's get everybody in the city. All right, looks like they managed to get unstuck and now are attacking us. Well, our equites are routing. That's awful. To really nobody. I mean, there's really no one around here. Okay, we killed the enemy general. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. Uh, I wish those ec my equities would rally. This is weird. They've got guys all over the place in weird positions. I don't know what these guys are doing. I guess they're fighting. I didn't order them to attack, but I think uh, since they're not in guard mode, mode, they just charge out. Let's see if they'll obey this order to get back. They still have 37 miss missile cav. All right, we got a Hastati here, and we're gonna send this group here as well. I'm gonna try to get my archers in the town. All right, we managed to route those guys. We still have more. So we're totally jammed at the gate because of those retreating equites. They've just like completely blocked us. I mean, we're slowly getting a few guys squeezing through, but we're pretty stuck. They don't have too much left, though. So, we got some Velites with some high grounds. They should be able to do some damage here. Let's have these guys throw their Pila as well. Still jammed at the gates here. I keep trying to rally them, but they don't listen. I think I just go ahead and charge in here. We've killed most of them. Maybe that's not a good idea, but I'm going to do it. Actually, let's have these guys halt over here. Wait for the guys in the back to get here. They are on the way. These guys are taking a ridiculous route. Alright, let's get our infantry to charge. And get our equites. I don't know if I want to send my general. Just too risky to send him. Alright, we won, and we only lost 313. Not bad. And uh, I think this time I'm going to exterminate for the money. Because we got that... We got the population from Byzantium. I don't want to grow too fast. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do the extermination. And now we have money again. And we've captured the Statue of Zeus, which is going to give us a plus 4 bonus to... Population loyalty, that is, I think this is my favorite wonder in the game. Um, the uh, Colossus of Rhodes is also really good, but I think my favorite is the Statue of Zeus. Get that uh, 
population loyalty. You can keep fewer troops in your cities and uh, save a lot of money that way. Well, with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in it here. Thank you for watching. Bye.